the channeler has asked a question to the collective. Friends, I wonder if you could comment on the recent death of the monarch of England, Elizabeth II. I feel it's the end of an era, but in a different way than most people think of that phrase, I feel like it has a deeper meaning than just the passing of the crown from one person to another. This was the channel's reply from the collective. Greetings, dear ones. We are indeed aware of this event. Let us speak first of this moment of great change that life on Earth is experiencing more and more every moment. This is not really due to external events, although these serve as indicators of the great changes in energy that are now reaching the planet. These changes are largely due to the increased level and intensity of the electromagnetic frequencies coming from the sun. You will note that many coronal mass ejections, the intense solar flares, and the openings and portals within the sun itself, which are placing the earth in a higher current of light, the kind that transforms and transmutes at very intense levels of experience. Considering that the sun itself is evolving to a higher level on the etheric plane, this is not surprising. Yet most people who are aware of these activities may think that the sun's behavior in relation to the earth is strange and unreasonable. Many feel that there are too many changes, too hard and too fast a race, which is changing all the inhabitants of the planet as well as earth itself. These changes can indeed be very difficult journeys at times at times rather than resisting the changes that are happening now allow yourself to go along with them even if you cry in shock grief or anger allow yourself to cry to express your anger constructively to move beyond regrets and questions about the why of certain things in your life in fact you know why certain things happened you have come here at this time to release the old pain, shock, grief and rage that have followed you from one earth life to the next, getting stuck in your etheric energies as soul imprints and coming to the surface in each life when something happens that brings up the old reactions or touches the old wound. You are then amazed that such a terrible thing can happen, even though you yourselves have written these events into your own timeline. So it is with life on Earth and humanity's upward path to ascension, as it is with each of you as individuals. The shock you feel at having to relieve old pains is very small compared to the upheaval you feel after leaving an earth life and realizing that once again you have not fully healed or resolved the old contracts of your previous lives as well as the one you have just left and so the cycle of 3d earth lives continued until now at this time you find yourselves those of you who wish to ascend beyond the third dimension have collectively decided that it is time to release, resolve and completely end the old earth traumas, grievances and schisms that have plagued your planet as well as your individual experiences. Now, as for the end of the almost lifelong reign of the being known as Elizabeth II, we would say here is another part of the old construction. All of you who have chosen to live in a higher light have known 
on a higher level that the old way of living on earth is now over. So while no person of consciousness would wish the end of another in the physical or of that technology that transmits their apparent presence, you and the wave of light that is flowing through your universe now have wished the players off the stage. As far as those who have uh, so long played the roles of oligarchs, controllers, usurpers and those connected with them. That is what much of earthly royalty has justified and represented. And its time has passed, dear ones. You have chosen it. Not we who stand with you in your Earth Ascension process and in your individual and group Ascension path. We honor and observe your Earth experience, sending you encouraging energies and we intervene only to the extent permitted by universal law and according to your own progress and requests for assistance. We fully understand the grief of those who identify with the empire that this woman spent her life representing. And we honor and respect that experience of respectful grief, most certainly. However, you are aware that humanity cannot move to the next level without the parts of the old system gradually leaving the scene. And that is what you see happening now. It is the end of an age that you are witnessing. Not just a chapter of human history, but a whole section of planetary culture. Not only its pomp, tradition and hierarchies but only the colonizing but also the colonizing efforts it has sustained for millennia and this end is the door closing loudly on the old oppressive structures of the earth you will see others leave as well to various destinations Indeed, many are gone, replaced by clones, impersonators and the technology known as the solid hologram, among other changes in the identity of known people. You also have shapeshifters on your earth who appear to be one kind of being, human, and are in fact another. They hold many high positions in banking, media, government and medicine all around the world, not just in some countries. This too is coming to an end. Again, realize that this is not something that is happening to the earth and to human life any more than your own lives have happened to you without you having planned these events, including those who have hated the most. We are indeed seeing much grief now in various parts of the world over the loss of this woman's presence. And we would say that associating with honorable behavior and intentions, including the desire to serve a nation honorably, must be respected. It is not so much the association itself, investing in the notion that one's leader or role model is an honorable person that brings such a principle into a person's life. The person who admires the monarch and appears to be serving in a positive way to the best of his of or her ability should be respected and supported in his or her grief at the loss of an admired leader. Yet the shape of this principle is changing. As humanity invests more and more in its own honor 
and courage on its path of ascension, the old way of life and the preference for it will fade to the point where it will hardly be remembered. You are the leaders now, not because the one who sat on a throne is no longer on earth. You are the true leaders of this generation and all subsequent ones because you have chosen to go beyond the supposed limitations of being a mere mortal or commoner, a worker and other diminutives. These are also roles that you have willingly played for some time. Yet now, call yourselves by your real names. See yourselves as the gods and goddesses of creation that you truly are. And for you are at every moment, despite the pains of rebirth, stepping into your divine strength and your true self. Namaste, dear ones. Look up, we are in your skies and we are here with you always. This message of the collective was channeled by Caroline Oceana Ryan and it was read for you by Adriana.